y'all feel good about posting this video. I really do. And here's why. So, uh, it's Brit's life, or Brit's life, or M Miss Brittany. We'll, we'll call her Miss Brittany. She uploaded a video that actually made me open my eyes to Kami and how Kami actually is. Fully. Alright. So, she made a little skit about, like, pretending to be Kami and saying all this shit. And it's like, you know, this ain't even really a skit at this point. This is the real fucking truth. So, Kami, it seems like she's the type of person... If you're backing her up and supporting her 100% without calling her out on her bullshit, she fucks with you, right? But the moment you call her out on her bullshit, she feels deeply hurt and this, that, and the other. It's like, well, the truth does hurt, doesn't it, sweetheart? So, I'm gonna, because I don't know how it happened between any her and anyone else, but I might use mine as an example. So, I used to talk to Cammy like, when we first started talking, like, through text, like, we talked daily, okay? And, I noticed she was becoming more distant. And, you know, that could have had something to do with me, who, who the fuck knows? She says it wasn't me, but, it's like, it is, you know, it is what it is. And, come to find out, <coughs> that there have been times... Where I've had several people come to me. Not just one. If it's one, okay, I can see where that could be bullshit. But several. And I'm not going to name them because I'm not dragging them back into this fucking shit. But there have been several people that have came to me. Saying that she has literally called me creepy and weird and all this. And blah, 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 blah. So I brought it up to her. And she's like, no, I didn't. I said you would speak this any other. It's like, oh, really? So I asked one of the persons for a screenshot proof. And they delivered. It is there. It is there. And, you know, I, I brought it up to him. I'm like, okay, well, what's this? And she, she tried making some excuse. And it's like, okay. Go ahead and think about that. So I moved past that, right? Because, you know, I don't really care. I'm self-destructive. So if someone's talking shit about me, hey, go ahead. Because people know how I am. All right? Now... Uh, where I started realizing that she was a lying-ass cunt, yes, I'm using that, I, I'm going with that, because that's what she is, is when Brittany uploaded a video, like, uh, like a little skit, again, pretending to be Tammy, and just saying some shit, and one thing popped in my mind, is the fact that people, she says people keep this going and shit, right? She's the one that's keeping this going, a lot of the, a lot of us are trying to, like, fucking move on from this shit, okay? And, <clears throat> it's like, how can you call us that when you're doing the same fucking thing, okay? It's okay for you to continue the Johnny shit, but as more people bring out shit about you, oh, we can't have that, can we? Uh, that is narcissism, right? That is narcissism, not to mention she's a fucking gaslighter from hell. And, it, unless she changes, or if she doesn't change her attitude and her mentality and everything, nobody's going to be around her. It is what it is, okay? And, with that uh, being said, I'm done with her. I'm completely fucking done. I'm done, like I said in my uh, post, I'm done being an apologist. If you don't like what the fuck I say, even if it's about you... Uh, well, that's a you problem for the simple fact. If it, if it hurt, hurts, and it pisses you off, then maybe do some self-reflecting there. Because, if it ends up hurting you, well then, that might actually be how you are. Kami called me weird. Okay? I know I'm weird. Like, y'all have to understand. I was pulled out of fucking elementary school... And what was it, the fourth grade? I haven't really had too many, uh, human interactions other than, like, tattoo, like, getting tattoos and shit. I never physically really hang, hung out with anyone, except for my ex that lives in this area, and that, that was it, right? Like, when me and her were together, that's, like, we did hang out, we went places and everything. I hung out with her brother from time to time when she was busy, but that's it. But, I don't have human interactions, if you will, 
But one thing I do have is I can see when somebody's bullshitting. Maybe that's the reason why I can see when somebody's bullshitting is because of the lack of human interaction, right? Because in a sense, you can tell when someone is being genuine by, by their character, their tone of voice, their body language, everything. And you look at 90% of Cammy's videos in the past few months, her body language has been so fucking off. Like, she can't keep her story straight. Um, she always does that weird nervous thing where she kind of like licks her lips and everything. And, well, using her sex appeal, if you will, to, uh, I guess, kind of confuse people. Mainly men, but there's, you know, bisexual females and stuff. We're not going to get into that. Uh, if y'all want, like, a, uh, damn, my fucking nose itches. Uh, but if y'all want a, um, like, complete, like, dive in on, like, um, human emotions and the body language and everything, just let me know because I can, I can do that because... Again, while I haven't had, like, real-life human interaction, I have dealt with a lot of people online, and... However, I did deal with my mom's ex-husband, okay? And that dude is literally just like Cammy. Down to a T. Um, I would say they're both abusive. Well, I know my mom's ex-husband is, uh, but Cammy is showing similar signs that he did. And trying to spice the story on everybody else when it's fact their fault. Yeah. Um, he he tried to give some reason to him abusing my mother, essentially. Yeah, that doesn't fly with me, fam. And what pisses me off even more is the fact of the matter is she's claiming that she herself is an abuse victim. Okay, if that's the case, then you wouldn't attack other abuse victims, now would you? I, I don't believe for a second you're an abuse victim, Cammy. I think you're the abuser. How can I tell? Well, you, again, exhibit signs like my mom's ex-husband did, but also one of my exes. Y'all remember Taro, right? Yeah. Two peas in a pod, right? I'm not, not like this, but like two peas in a pod. And <clears throat> she's doing the exact same thing my ex did to me, but she's doing it to other people. And I will say I did have a hand in that. Um, it was mutual between me and my ex, but Candy, I, I'm not gonna sit here and take being fucking lied to. Like, you're sitting here talking shit behind my back. And then when I bring it up to you, you lied to my face saying that you weren't and that it was other people, which I hardly doubt. Because most of them don't even know who the fuck I am or has even seen my channel. They only know of what you tell them. And unless I've had an actual physical conversation with them outside of YouTube, they're not going to know how my character is. They're only going to know of what you say. And to me, that is a shitty fucking thing to do. Given you know that I have a lot of fucking issues. You know, mostly everything about my life from when I was pulled out of school, I've talked about that several times. Uh, how I've been cheated on multiple times. How... My ex, well, like, again, it was mutual. My ex gaslit me in the process. She's so like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it back, alright? Like, you know all this shit, and yet you're using that against, like, you're using what happened to me against me because it turned me into this person. But you know what? I'm not going to apologize anymore. Fuck apologizing to people who don't deserve it. And you don't deserve it. I'm taking back every fucking apology I gave you. Because you sat there and you used my fucking kindness against me. And that's a shitty thing to do. Anyways, I'm out for right now.